welcome to my channel, Crafty Fox DIYs. This video is part of the 12 Days of Christmas collaboration. Each day has a new theme, and today's theme is snowmen. The hosts of the 12 Days of Christmas collaboration are Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. I will include a link to both of their channels as well as a link to the playlist containing videos from all of the great contributors to the 12 Days of Christmas collaboration. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, for this first project, I am making a shelf sitter. I'm just using this napkin that I got at the end of the season last year at Dollar Tree and this piece of wood. And I'm going to cut the napkin and separate the two pieces. And I'm not painting this the board where I am going to be putting the napkin down because it's a light colored wood. So I'm just putting some Mod Podge on there and then I'm going to put the napkin on and I'm putting it on so that there are two larger snowmen and two smaller snowmen onto the board. Once I get that all smoothed out and it's nice and dry, then I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm going to use it going in a downward motion to remove the excess napkin from the board. Now I'm taking these little stickers, they're like jewels that I got from Walmart, and I'm going to stick those onto my napkin part to make it look like little snowflakes and I'm also going to take a larger one and place it onto the scarf of one of the larger snowmen just so that they will be a little distinguishable one will look a little different than the other then I'm going to take this color it's lacquer by Waverly chalk paints and I'm going to paint the edge of the board all the way around on all four sides you can use whatever color you want. I really like this color of red for Christmas. I usually go with bright red and Christmas green, but I like this color. It is really nice and a new addition. Okay, now for this next one, I'm using this charger. I purchased this at Goodwill, but you can find chargers just like this at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using the back side of it because I'm thinking ahead. And in case I want to take this apart and use this charger at another time, I wanted to keep the front side looking nice. So now I'm just gluing this down. I'm not sure what this is. Something that I had bought was wrapped in it, but it's going to work perfect for this. You could use like one of the snow blankets or something similar to create your snow on your charger. Now, if you weren't wanting to reuse your charger later on, you could go ahead and do it on the front side. If you want to then once I get that glued down then I'm going to take my scissors and just trim it off so that it's all nice and neat I just give it a rough cut on the back side then I'm going to flip it over and trim it off real nice and neat all the way around my charger now I have this little snowman and it was an ornament I took the hook part off of it and then I am painting the base white and before the paint dries, I am going to sprinkle faux snow onto the white paint. Then I have these trees that I got from Timu. They were in a pack. They had these two larger trees and then some smaller trees. And I'm also putting some white paint on there and sprinkling on the faux snow as well. And then I'm going to cut some beads apart, all different colors to make ornaments on the trees. And I'm just going to secure those beads onto the trees using hot glue. I'm just doing them on like I would my regular tree inside the house, making sure that I don't have two of the same colored bulbs beside each other. But you could do yours however you want. If you want to just use all of one color, then do that. Then I'm going to glue those down as well. And I forgot to paint the base of the trees white and put the snow on. So I made sure I'd done that now so that way you won't see the green underneath the snow and then i'm just going around with mod podge and putting some more of the faux snow on and i'm going to cover this whole scenery like that to make it you know nice and snowy you could also do this with glitter if you wanted to uh, but i like the iridescentness of this snow i'm assuming that epsom salt would work as well it looks really nice as snow also then once I get it completely covered, then I just take my hands and lightly tap the snow into the Mod Podge, shake off any extra and fill in spots that might have been bare. And then I just lightly take my hand and brush off any excess. 
And then I'm going to take some more of those beads that I cut off and glue those down to make it look like some bulbs have fallen off the trees. And that's it for this one. Okay, now for this last one, it's not an actual snowman, but it is a snowman hat. So I am considering it part of the snowman theme. And I'm just taking this large tin can and I'm giving it a coat of Mod Podge. And this will allow the acrylic paint to stick to it better. Now, if you were using spray paint, you can skip that step. Now I, I took a bowl and I turned it upside down and this is going to create the brim of the hat and I'm just using a piece of cardboard to do that. So I cut my piece out and then I'm going to paint it black with some acrylic paint. And this takes a couple coats and I also paint the edge of the cardboard as well. Once I get the first coat done, then I'm going to take my hair dryer and dry it so I can move on to the next step more quickly. And then like I said, I put another coat on to make sure it's nice and covered, completely covering up that cardboard. Okay, so now once that's done, then my Mod Podge is dry and then I'm going to paint my can with the black acrylic paint as well and use my hair dryer to dry it up. Once I have that all painted, then I'm going to take hot glue and I'm going to glue the tin can down onto the piece of cardboard. And it looks like I have shown you a lot of this painting and drawing of this tin can. I didn't realize I had shown that much. Now I am putting my tin can down right side up. So the bottom of the can is going to be glued onto the hat. And the reason why I've done this is because I am going to put some styrofoam in there and make an arrangement out of it. So I press the foam down on top of the tin can so I'll know how big I need to cut my foam. And then once I have that cut, then I just stick it down inside. Now I'm going to take some Mod Podge. I'm determining where I want the front of my hat to be. I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm going to put it onto the brim of the hat so that I can uh, sprinkle some faux snow onto the hat to make it look like some snows on there. Now I don't add a ribbon around my hat, but you could certainly do that if you want to. I just chose not to do that because I'm going to be adding some greenery and some berries onto the brim of the hat. So I decided not to put a ribbon on, but you could still do both if that's how you choose to do yours. So now here I am taking the greenery and uh, berries and pine cones, embellishing the hat with those items and just place them, you know, on there, how I like them. And I use hot glue to secure it down. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It gets dark so early now and I didn't bring my light in. I should have done that so you could see better. Okay, and now I am taking these picks. These are various picks. Some I got from Timu, some came from Walmart, and I'm just placing those down into the styrofoam that is inside the tin can. I'm also using some pine cones that I picked up foraging. And then I have these little sticks that look like candy. Those came off of a broken candy cane. Okay, let's take one final look at all of these projects. Santa's clapping to the snowy group We're frosty lead and there's no way to stop Let's all line up for the snowman stop Oh, the snow is falling, the world's a glow Frosty's got the moves, let's start the show Kick up your boots, don't you stop It's time to do the snowman stop Okay, that's all for this video. Be sure to check the description box for the link to the host channels as well as the playlist for the 12 Days of Christmas collaboration to get lots of Christmas DIY inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.